Hello and welcome to our next lesson. Today we shall be looking at database normalization and specifically a normalized form or what we normally refer to as UNF. As you may recall, the UNF is our preparatory stage in our normalization process and it helps us to create a structured frame that is a representative of the piece of an organization data which may be appearing in such a form. It can either be an invoice, it can either be a report, it can either be a purchase order. When you are presented with such a report card, which in this particular case is a student module card, how do you translate these into a UNF? Step one, we need to identify what we normally refer to as the domains. Now the domains are the ones that you can see in my case having uh, identified and the domains are the ones that later become our fields. The domains are the ones that help us to populate the data. The student ID helps us to capture something. Student name helps us to capture something. Academic year helps us to capture something. And you can see in the academic year, we have two things. We have the year, we have the semester. Course code, course name, uh, module code, and module name. So whenever you are provided with any form, be it an invoice, be it a report, be it a purchase order, the most important thing is that you need to first of all identify the domains because the domains are the ones that help us to build the structured frame. So once you have identified the domains or the column headings, then we normally create a structured frame in such a given manner or a relation and we ensure that each of the domain names is the one that form our particular field. So in this particular case, you can see that we had student ID, student name, academic year, course code, course name, module code, and module name, and they are the ones that you can see appearing in this particular manner. And then after that, we need to begin populating the values, as you can see, the values for each of them. And you are going to see that since this student is doing four units, we may find ourselves having to repeat his details so that we can accommodate each and every unit that this student is undertaking. And NB that you need to take note is that when you have a derived field, and a derived field is a field that is actually generated from another field, you never include it. So we do not expect to see this total unit for appearing in our particular relation. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.